Welcome to First Man Satellite. This is uh, GT Media Satellite Finder. You see, I'm turning it on for you to see the program. Look at it, it is not displayed. I want to educate you how to solve this problem using a USB flash drive. How to solve this problem using USB flash drive. It's because uh, if it is not the screen problem, if the screen is not damaged but it is a software problem, you can recover it using a USB flash drive. But if it is a hardware problem, like uh, the flash IC is damaged, or the screen self is damaged, then uh, you have to deal it uh, with the hardware process. You have to change the flash IC or troubleshoot to know how to deal with it. But for this one, uh, I've uh, uh, no uh, troubleshoot and uh, known that the, the problem is a software problem because I have already made a video how to identify uh, whether your uh, whether your problem is a screen problem or a software problem. So now you know you, you, you know uh, what the problem is if you are having a problem like this. So how to recover GT Media Satellite Finder? with a USB flash drive in the state like this. At times, it will display GT Media. In case like, you turn it on like this and it displays GT Media, but it doesn't boot successful, or it, uh, or it displays like this, it doesn't appear at all. Uh, you need a USB flash drive. You need a USB flash drive. It must be empty USB flash drive and also must be a virus free flash drive. Then uh, you download the satellite finder software and rename the software flash.bin. Flash.bin. You rename it, don't put it in a folder. You just put the software uh, straight on the USB flash drive. Then what you will do is to uh, you will switch the finder. You you su you will switch the finder. You can either put the USB flash drive in the USB port. Look out here. Look at the bottom. You see, there's a USB port here. You can put the USB flash drive. You have renamed the software on it in this place. Then you turn. You switch the satellite finder. Immediately you switch. At the same time, you are pressing the back, this button, the back button. You will press this, long press, and switch it at the same time. So you continue pressing it, so it gives you a message here. To, uh, uh, it will show you a message here to upgrade. So you just follow the instruction that uh, comes on the screen to upgrade. So I'm coming to do exactly that. Or uh, you can also do that, turn it on without putting the USB flash drive at, in the USB port. You can turn it, and at the same time, when turning it, you are pressing the uh, back button like this, and it will display. After displaying uh, how to upgrade it, then you insert the USB flash drive where that contains your rename software flash.bin, and then you flash it. Welcome to First Man Satellite. So I'm coming to do that to know how to solve this problem. Welcome, please subscribe and share to motivate me if you like my videos. You see now, I have fixed my USB flash drive in the USB port. So what I'm coming to do now is now switch and immediately I switch, I press the back button. I press, long press the back button uh, for at least 30 seconds, then release my hands to get a message on the screen. So I want to move to a dark place so, so that you can see the message that will display on the screen very well. Welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share if you like my videos. Yes, yeah, so I'm turning it on. I'm turning it immediately. I turn it, I press the back button. So look at it. 
them fast. You see, you long press it, you press it like this. At least for 30 seconds. You see? And then you release your hand. At this time I can release my hands and see whether I'll get the message. Look at it. Good. Good. You can see a message. Look at the message. I want you to see the message very well. I want you to get the message well. Uh, the message is upgrade. Upgrade mode is all. Then upgrade far. You see, my file is there, is detected there, as you can see. So, at this point, you only have to select the start. Look at it, the start. The start. So, yes, you see like this, then press OK. Then you press OK. Look at it. Do not remove your disk. You see, this is the first step. Then it is uh, uh, there is a message on again. Is it attention? After the software update, the receiver will reset to factory default. Favorite list and other personal settings will be deleted and should be saved before. If you want to continue, just press OK to continue. Then you, pr you press OK. Now you wait patiently for it to do the work for you. This is how. To recover uh, GT Media VA Finder that is uh, refusing to display on the screen or boot completely, uh, uh, which is a software problem but not a hardware problem. This is how to deal with it. And also note that if it is a hardware problem, uh, this solution cannot work for you. But if it is not a hardware problem but only a software uh, issue, then this is how to recover it using USB flash drive. You see, it is rebooting. You see, now, now, success. Now, success. Look at it. Look at it. Welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share my channel. Now you can see everything is okay. Now you can see everything is okay. So telling me to set my language and everything. You see, everything is okay here. Now, you see, yes, yes, yes. Everything is okay now. You see, yes. This is how to set it, good. Welcome to First Man Saturday. Please subscribe and share my videos. Thank you, thank you.